Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast of the Group N Round 3 match between Ivan Colin, who's just chosen to kick the ball. Unbelievable. That is spicy. He's chosen to kick the ball to Bright and his necromantic team. I can show you the table here. Um, so, as it stands, um, Cold Troop and Sip Jin are both eliminated. Bright and Ivan Colin are both qualified. But there is there is something to play for, and that's seeding. Um, at the knockout stage, there'll be a pool of the 16 winners, and then they can only play people from the pool of the 16 winners up. So this is to see who's the winner and who's the runner up. Um, it's not on touchdown difference, it's on touchdown scored. And it would, wouldn't matter if it was anyway, so the tiebreaker. So if Bright withdraws, he'll stay ahead, right? So Ivan Colin needs a win to win the group. So I guess that's why he's kicked, right? I guess that's why he's kicked. He's playing for the win because a draw is essentially the same as a loss for him. So actually, at first it blew my mind, the kick, but now it makes complete sense. So yeah, there you go. Um, Ivan Colin absolutely going all out for the win here. And I can tell you that Ivan Colin is Spanish and qualified through the NBB. And Bright is Russian and qualified through the Ruble World Championship qualifiers. Ruble being Russian. Blood Bowl League, of course. And so there you go. Bright, one of my favourites to win the tournament. So... Yep. <laughs> and starting, you know, he only needs the draw, right? So kicking, chances are he, he stalls out eight turns, scores, and then second half, Ivan Colin tries to score early and then loses 2-1. That is probably the most likely result at this point in time, but you never know. You know, if, if Ivan Colin gets the stop or gets the turnover, then he's got extra information on how to play the second half. Um, Brian has gone for the same build as Diamond, which is... Only one wolf and two ghouls, a block and a wrestler, and obviously four guard, three rerolls, 13 players. And Ivan Colin's got four guard biggins, a mighty blower and a tackler, and no troll, but he has a thrower, and three rerolls and an apple. So I quite like this build actually, the thrower, three rerolls, apple, and uh, no troll. Uh, the four the four were guard biggins. Uh, do you know what? I'd probably go an extra. I wouldn't go tackle. I'd go guard and then have the mighty blow to blitz with. That's what I'd do, I guess. And, uh, yep, yeah, the trapdoor's unlikely to be relevant, but you never know. Hello, BB Jock. Hello, Dimmy G. <laughs> Hello, Diamond. Makes the uh, wolf blitz into the fleshy so that he can keep it protected. Where well, hey, thanks, Dimmy. It only happened once. Anybody can make mistakes, Dimmy. You don't have to mention it for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay. The worst mistake I ever made in a Blood Bowl game. Repeated forever. Thank you, Dimmy. I still don't know why it happened. Maybe that's the first stage of dementia, honestly, because... It was so weird. It was like an out-of-body experience. I just... It just makes no sense. No, that was fine. The whole of the backline versus Cruz was absolutely fine. That was absolutely fine. I'd already won the game. He had a ridiculously low chance to score the one turn, even without the defense. And I just joined the commentators to, uh, you know, enjoy the fact that I'd just beaten Cruz. Like, it was still really low. He still needed to get four pushes. Um... No, no, it was movement eight, essentially, isn't it? No, it's movement seven. Yeah, four pushes. So he had to get four pushes and... Uh, and he had to get the ball to, like, an add two-plus player. So so that that was fine. The, the one-turn defense versus Chris was absolutely fine. Because, um, honestly, I, I changed it to make it better against a Riot, which it was. 
So it was arguably still correct, even though I forgot about the one turn chance. So yeah, that's absolutely fine. The hole in the back line versus Cruz was fine. Dakta the three 0 loss was just dice, and the witch elf kill was pretty bad. But I mean, that was just a, you know, just a mistake. People make mistakes all the time, don't they? So no, this was uh, the 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 getting the player served was definitely the worst thing by a mile. So I like just the big line there, the big line with plenty of guard on the ends. But it means he does get to crack the end. But doesn't get a power, now he's got loads of players in. This might have been a mistake by Bright to engage. You could say it wasn't very bright. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure that was the correct thing to do. Engage like this, you know, maybe maneuver around and then try to get the blitz with a wolf like blitzing with a wolf is super important isn't it um, I guess that's what he's doing right he kind of is maneuvering around and setting up the hit with a wolf next turn the problem is is his fleshes are engaged now so you know he's gonna have to work a bit harder next turn well no he won't he'll just make a KO I mean, you have to have all this, yeah. yeah. This is quite good practice for Ivan Colin and Bright as well, isn't it, right? Like, this is essentially, you know, just free-rolling knockout practice, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, they're both qualified, so they're, they're stress-free and they can just try to do things. I mean, the wolf is blitzable now, isn't it? Which is a concern. Not easily blitzable, though, to be fair. To be fair, he's much better off blitzing in with a guard, right? Trying to get the guards active. That's what he has to do. Okay, his guard biggins in. All four of Bright's guard are contacted, like connected, so he kind of wants to connect his guard biggins in to fight them. The guard biggins. The Elliot classic. the push is he gonna rush here he is gets in the block and the pow yeah this is the bit of the problem right with the bright scott now by jamming in there He's gained a stun, but now he's had two knocked over himself. And this guy. And now he finds himself outstrengthed. Equal guarded. Can he make something happen? Not easily is the uh, 
is the answer. Gonna have a headache now. Well, apparently not that much of a headache. Instantly come back to the right. Nice to see an instant uh, ball move. A lot of people will make a bunch of blocks and then realize they've got a ball halfway through the turn. So yeah, maybe maybe Ivan Cole went a bit too hard on the left side. Maybe not, but good dice wanted to get three knockdowns there from three blocks. Four knockdowns from four blocks. This guy's getting surfed though. Because I can't see Ivan, well, likely getting surfed, right? Likely getting surfed. 55% of the time he gets surfed. A bit higher because you re roll one in nine. And then I guess Yoni, then Yoni, surf him. Um. 89. So he so yeah, so actually he's probably about he's probably about fifty percent to get served. I think you definitely go for this. It's actually like doubly good, right? Because it frees up your frees up your bigger next turn as well. So you can just move around everybody else and definitely get that surf. Well, so you definitely definitely attempt the surf. You definitely won't definitely get it. <laughs> but you can definitely attempt it. Wow, I hate this. I, I genuinely hate that play. Genuinely hate that play. No, I would not be concerned at all. I genuinely hate it. Give me a removal, and uh, I can get this guard guy in next turn. Like, like as it happened, he rolled a pow and a stun, which is almost as good as a surf anyway. But imagine if that was just a push. Then next turn, the guy comes back and tags your guy anyway, right? Instead of being off, like, so he got the absolute best result he could possibly get, getting the knockdown and the stun. Well, not the best, it could have been a removal, but like, I don't like it at all. I really didn't like it. But, he got the payoff. And I could be wrong, you know, at the end of the day. All I can say is what I think. I would have definitely gone for the surf. One million percent. Could potato upfield a little bit now, couldn't he? This is nice, isn't it? The power freeing the wraith. Probably. I mean, maybe not, right? Maybe he's just going to try and fight in the middle. Random zombie, well done. And a Kaz. Oof. It's all about putting your players in the right squares. And these are the absolute best squares to have your opponent's players in. And that right there has probably won the drive. 
for Bright. <laughs> it's a funny old game, Blood Bowl, isn't it? say protect the wolf really nice oh, this is really nice isn't it Really nice. See, so saying you know if that the surf will keep you will keep you out of position, you could have made that block with the uh, bigger. And if he powered him, then the blitz could have come up here and powered this guy, who then wouldn't have been able to make that block to do that. So you know it's it's interesting, isn't it? But I, I think surfing's good. I really did like surfing. He's out of position here because he's lost two players, right? Not because he was particularly out of position. Look, that guy that he freed up last turn is here. Which is one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so, <laughs> the player he freed up last turn would be there now anyway. Like, different if it was an elf that had been tagged, right? If it was an elf catcher that was tagged there, who who could have gone, like, to here last turn, then there's an argument for not surfing. But when it's a big one, who can only go five anyway? Absolutely super interesting, yep. Continuing with the uh, blitzing to move players around. The problem is now you're getting picked off by the wolf every turn, which is very bad. Necro are a tough proposition. Well, pretty much everyone, I think. Tough for Edge team because they don't get a one turn. Tough for other Bash team because they get clawed and end up down players. Got four guard, which is quite a lot. Really good team. Doesn't use stand firm. It's a bit surprising, isn't it? I also found it surprising to punch with this blitzer rather than the mighty blow blitzer. So turn five, still plenty of time for Bright. First action, blockless block. Outrageous. Now the 
free flashy yet to move forward. No, he's gonna put here first. Doesn't get him. He might re-roll this, the ball's safe, so a double skull isn't a killer. Still got three. Wouldn't have hated seeing the re-roll there. You can actually just leave the ball where it is, right? Completely safe. Probably best to get back in the middle and you can go either way. I would say. Like here, here, the go could be here. And then you've got a bit of a switch open if you want. You know, and then he's got to spread everything more. You start him dodge and double rush with this guy. Or could have the wrestle girl there and the ball there. And then, even if he touched you, you could just punch him with the uh, wrestler. I don't know, because he could touch on the corner. Errata, errata. Or you could have the ball there and the wrestler behind you. Yeah. But then I guess you could blitz the Wraith and base you in the front. We can blitz the Wraith and base you in the front now anyway. It seems pretty decent. I don't really like this from Bright. I think, like... I think this wrestle won over. And then the ghoul here, right? The, the ball carrying ghoul here, yeah. Ball carrying ghoul here and wrestle ghoul in front of him. This makes it a bit harder to mess. Mess with the ball. Because, yeah, he has come in. Interesting the tackles there, because if you're going to leave one free now, it should have been the tackler, right? So this guy has to go in, wherever he goes. I mean, he doesn't have to, have to but you'll just know that you've made a mistake if he doesn't go in. <laughs> because if he's not in, he definitely should have been the tackler. Man, the big and the big and idle animation is the best. Can't believe I never noticed it before. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Oh, and then he won in nines. The re -roll. Stays put! Oh, because there's a wolf there. Okay. Oh, and then dodges to double base him. I was like, stays put! But yeah, okay, there's a wolf there, just instantly surfing. Fair enough. Why <laughs> are you not even threatening? Like, you're just gonna, he's just gonna stand back up next turn. Why even make that block? I mean, you might remove a zombie, but. Making a blockless block to maybe remove a zombie seems not great. This isn't easy, is it? This is like an uphill block from the Wraith.
No, yeah, one dude with a ball, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, that was better, wasn't it? Because it, it, that's three percent to just lose, but it's better. Like you still probably just lose if you uh, if you free the tackle at a two D you anyway. So yeah, yeah, one D with a ball. It was just a two plus, wasn't it? I don't know why I didn't register the guard on the ring. <laughs> Do. Look at this zombie coming back to relevancy. The one who should have been surfed is now stopping the four plus cage dive. I really hate that he put the tackle there, right? He should have obviously been swapped. First thing you want to be able to do is bring your tackler back here, and you can't. <laughs> Hard to work, it's definitely this one. But I like the idea of doing something special for the Saturday game. Or games. On Saturday there is a Group E. We'll finish off um, because that's the time, that's the day that they can all play at the same time. Because there's lots of, there's lots of inter, interdependent, 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 that's right, isn't it? Interdependent results. Is that, does that even make sense? <laughs> what does interdependent mean? It must be a word. They have a sense of dependency between them. Yeah. Okay. It does make a lot of sense, yeah, but a lot of them didn't matter too much, right? A lot of them were like people are ahead and probably just needed a draw and like the chance of them meeting the win was like really small and stuff. But yeah, I would have definitely made... If I was the one, if I could have got any advantage from knowing anything i would want that in, i would want that advantage yes certainly so i mean i was just going to go for it, play as late as possible so i'd maybe got more i'd maybe got more info was my uh, was my strat i imagine that was most people's strat right yeah exactly to that because that's the thing right Exactly, that's exactly it. Like, you've just got to play when you can play. So I was like, let's try to play as late as possible. So we've got more info. Also, there's games where both players benefit from having more intel, right? So in that case, those two definitely want to play after the other two. Whereas in this case, everybody basically benefited equally from knowing as late as possible. I think you should have probably followed there. I think this was probably the time to fly. We probably should have followed earlier. It's turn seven though, I mean. The ghoul is in base, so we can get right down. Not that he has to, but he could get right down. But yeah, a bit of a pickle actually. You know, this guy's kind of boxed off. These two are boxed in. This guy is out of the, so he's only got a few moon players. Good turn, good turn by Ivan Colin. Down two players. Down two players, that was a pretty good turn, but obviously I bet I'm sure he would rather this was a tackle than this one. But then I guess the tackle is in a perfect spot now, isn't he? After thinking it was bad that he was there. Now he's in the perfect spot. If he can if he's not knocked over, he's in the perfect spot. This guy cannot reach the Google if it's on the sideline, so sideline is a possibility. If he can do other things. So there on the corner, he's out of range completely of him. 
and then he's just got two players to deal with. So, super interesting. Oh, I uh, no, I was gonna say I know. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I do. I definitely know what I'd be doing here, but. Yep. Oh, this is really... I think this is pretty easy here. This is a pretty easy... Pretty easy turn, but we shall see if... Bright thinks the same way I do, or if he thinks of something different, which could be better. But I've thought of a pretty good solution to this turn. I just don't really want to say it. I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> I don't know for the Montpellier streams if we'll be on a delay or not, because, like... You know, I don't know if how much chat interaction we'll have on the streams. If it will just be more like, you know, a show, in which case the delay would be alright, wouldn't it? Um, but I think for my stream, having the uh, chat interaction is good, which means I don't want a delay. It is misspelled tree as the presenter host. Host, that's the correct terminology, I believe. And uh, Andy Devo as the uh, as the other analyst. That is the question. I think they might have to get extra people if that's the case. We're going for a ball blitz. Not what I would have done, who can say, if it's good or bad. I definitely should have tagged the big and fur. This guy should have just definitely tagged him. Already. Big mistake by Bright, isn't it, ultimately? Like, you know, this should have been the first thing he did. Safe moves first and all that. And like, I'm, I'm, maybe he's thinking of the double rush, actually, to be fair. Maybe he's considering double rush. Yeah, he is. So that wasn't a big mistake at all. It was. Uh, it's actually better, right? In a way, one, two, three, four, five. It makes it a four-two-two for the big one instead of just a four. But at the cost of at the cost of leaving him open to bad dice. I'm not certain about it. What I liked here was the fleshy blocks the lineman, and then you know hopefully pals him. And then the ghoul punches the blitzer, which chains the wraith to here. And then, if this guy wasn't knocked down, then you can punch him with a fleshy here to try and knock him down. And then you've got the wraith free, but he just did the 1D. Which, I mean, I preferred my way of doing it. That didn't involve a 1D. <laughs> Stood next to some stairs near PC. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. It'd be interesting if if we all make the final. I don't know when they'll have to make the decision if they're going to get any more people, um, or try to, or what. Yeah, hopefully we. Hopefully PC won't be recreating the uh, <laughs> the showgirl scene with us. <laughs> oh, cosmic girl. <laughs> So this is a 4-2-2 two, two, to 2-D two the ball, isn't it? Which is probably his best shot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, rush, rush. <laughs> Instantly has to use a reroll. So like, that was a pretty good solution from Bright, to be fair. Pretty good solution. I thought it was a good turn by Ivan Cole and a good turn by Bright.
Well, yes, but <laughs> yes, Salagas, but. Oh, he's just blitzing and then basing. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I hate this. It's just not going to be enough, right? That's the problem. Like, I just don't see a world in which this is enough. And you see people do it kind of all the time. And I just can't see it being good enough. Um, yeah, but, like, you know, obviously if we're in the top eight, we're commentating on the top eight. So maybe they'll make the decision on the top 16 to invite other people. Or maybe they'll do it at the round of 32. At the moment, myself and Dave are both in the round of 32. And Tree, maybe. So all three of us could make the round of 32, potentially. Tree could maybe even lose and still make the top 32. By the way, it's definitely going to be not going to be a quadruple knobbing because the Dark Elves have already qualified. So at the moment we've got three knobs. Yes, yeah, it's like, because that's the thing, right? I don't know what their threshold is for qualifiers or round. Um, yeah. Things can happen. Things can happen. They might wait to see the draw, and like at the draw, it might be like, you know, Tree versus Dave, all right, in the round of 32, in which case they'll think, oh, well, in that case, at max, we've got two in the round of 16. Also, the, I don't know if they, do, I think they map the draw out from the, like the whole knockout stage is decided in one go, right? Like the whole, the whole knockout stage will will be uh, will be planned out in the knockout stage draw. Like they'll they'll be locked in. Like the kind of seedings or whatever will be locked in at that stage. <laughs> the knockout games are kind of best of two, maybe best of three. That's what they are. So, you know, he, he got things in the way here, did Ivan call in, right? But it's just it just wasn't going to be enough, was it? And there you go, it wasn't. It was all easily cleared. I feel like he just had to make... Uh, Ivan Colin had to make the big boy moves of 4-2-2 to, to 2D the ball and get the pal. Without that, Bright's going to find the answers, which he did. Um, oh god, okay, that's too big. But yeah, so, as you can see there, it's just going to be all locked in. Whoever plays each other, it's going to be locked in as to who they are then playing in the later rounds. So the, the tournament tree will be decided um, on Sunday so yeah it's so it's it's not really first to two right so it's it's it starts off as a two-legged affair no overtime and if one side basically unless they're both draws or one side each wins each one then it's decided right so let's say it's Ivan Colin versus Bright which it can't be because they, they can't have a rematch from the grip stage but let's say uh, who's already won I'm I'm definitely second and uh, Nuru won all his games so I could play Nuru um, if I win my first game and then draw the second I just win and we don't play the third even though he could win and we'd have a tied series right if it was best of three um or like he could win and I could win and then we'd play the deciding one. So So that's it. It's quite simple. It's really good. It's it's mostly it's mostly gonna be two games, right? There's a good chance that somebody wins and draws. 
there's a decent chance that somebody wins and draws because once they win the first or they like they draw the first game and then somebody wins the second game like and then they don't have to play the third so so quite a few will only be two games but like a win and a draw would not win a best of three would it if it was a best of three you'd have to play each round would have to have overtime whereas now you can you, you can win with a win and a draw and obviously you can win with two wins as well which would have won a best of three so there will definitely be two games so the round of 32 is going to be at least 32 games and up to 48 so um yeah draw is an end state yeah yeah that's, that, that's the thing that is how they're doing it yeah they're having the draw being a possibility in the first two legs wait there was a riot not a riot a timeout There was a timeout, turn marker goes from 8 to 7. I was literally paying zero attention to the game, and there's been a timeout. <laughs> How's that, Jeff? I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> Honestly, what, what he could have done with a blitz, he could have blitzed this guy back, right? He could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4 pushed him back, then gone there, then he could have blocked him and chained him forward and then got him an extra square forward. That could have been a thing. Um, also, it would have been three dice, but I mean, he's already blitzed somewhere. Yeah, it, chat, chat distracted me. Look, the, the chances are it wasn't going to be in a timeout, so I focused on chat. See, this is the, this is the thing. Like, this is going to be the difference between these these casts and the one in Montpellier. In it, in Montpellier, will be hyper focused. Well, yeah, I mean, you could have done it with somebody else. <laughs> uh, shut up, Demento. He could have blitzed and filled that square with this guy, right? Whatever. Um, <laughs> the the point is the point is. He could have he could have blitzed this guy, and then chained him forward, rather than a, yeah. There was a timeout. There was a timeout. So uh, Ivan Colin got a two turn chance, but I was busy talking to chat. So I think we won't really be talking to chat in the Montpellier one. I don't think we particularly. We did have a we did have a little uh, we did have a little tablet that had things. Oh, he did the block first. Which, yeah, maybe he shouldn't have. Maybe he should have picked up the ball before making a blockless block. But then he wanted to get another scoring threat in, didn't he? So. Yeah, I mean, I, I, the problem is you're not expecting to get the chance, but I guess he should have set up with the chance and the plan in mind, right? He should have set up with, I'm going to get a timeout here. Oh, my goodness. Um, he probably should have set up with that in mind, um, yeah, like I, I'm going to get a timeout. Is how he should have is how he should have uh, set up. But yeah, instead, all it's achieved is getting a dead blitzer, which gave the necro an extra player. So that's fun, isn't it? Nice timeout, mate. Where did you get it? The rubbish timeout shot. And now he's based the ball, double based the blitzer. Yep, and he probably wishes he'd never got it. But yeah, he didn't he didn't plan for it particularly, did he? And if this big and stays out, it's looking very likely a bright win. So he <laughs> could blitz the fleshy and then jump over it. <laughs> it was the play, wasn't it? The play was to blitz the fleshy and then jump over him. Wow. Okay, Biggin comes back, so he's got ten players. He's only down a blitzer. The problem now is, Ivan Colin, is even if he draws this game, it's the same as a loss. There's the table. You can see a draw will leave him behind Bright. 
and still in second place. He's still qualified, but the important thing is a loss is no worse than it. Like a draw is no better than a loss for him. And a loss is no better than a draw for him. So he's got to go all out to get the victory here anyway. So we're going to see a, a ludicrous attempt at a quick, a quick score from Orcs. <laughs> Um, because then he'll top the group, Dementor. So what's happening in the in the knockout stages? There, um, there's going to be sixteen group winners, sixteen group runners up, and then we're going to have a draw. There's no like there's no set tournament tree at this point. The tournament tree will be decided in the knockout stage draw on Sunday, where we'll be streaming from the. Uh, Focus, not focus. Oh my god, that's completely wrong. The Na the Nacon channel, <laughs> or is it the Cyanide channel? The Nacon channel, right? The Nacon channel, um, with Miss Bell Tree and Vituk, and you will get, you know, somebody from the winners' pool will then play somebody from the runners' up pool, with no rematches from the groups. So whatever happens, Bright can't play Ivan Cole in, in the knockout stage. That would be a redraw. And if there's four people left, they'll um, they'll you know play each other. So quite simple to uh, you know just respin if they get the person from their draw from their same group. The funny thing is, being first isn't going to be so much better than being second because it's possible that Kfog is second in his group. It's possible that um, Devo is second in his group. It's possible that Diamond's second in his group. It's, po well, it's de I mean, I am second in my group. So, you know, while you'd imagine the winners would be uh, more dangerous than the runners-up, you don't necessarily know that, so... There could be some very spicy matches. Yes, I like that. I honestly like that it's blind as well, right? You're just trying to be first because, you know, it stops... Uh, it stops the kind of gamesmanship of, I think I'll finish try and finish second in my group so that I can avoid, you know, playing X in the quarterfinals and then I'll in the semi-finals I'll only have to beat one of these you know like you'd rather just have to beat like say Devo in the semi than having to beat um Bright in the quarters and then Devo in the semi right whatever it does agree no it does it exactly but then you know being second guarantees no Jimmy Fantastic so there is that <laughs> Woo! You do if you want to beat you if you want to beat the best you do yeah. But the thing is like the um, exactly yes yeah, so you could sandbag and stuff. So yeah. So I like that they've gone. I like that they've gone for the blind draw. I do actually prefer the blind draw. But I wasn't sure what they were going to do. Whether they were just going to have like the entire tournament tree out because they could have done, couldn't they? They could have just said winner of group A plays the winner of group B. Winner of C plays the runner up of D, etc., etc., and like plan it all out so you don't play the same group until the final, right? Like, he, like that's how they do World Cup and that, don't they? So they could have done that, but they didn't. They did it. They did. It's, I guess more random is. Uh... <laughs> hey, um, I guess more random is more blood ball, isn't it? Hello, J Five. I mean, yes, I I do agree that most people in the final 32 will be good. That's true. But I also think there are favourites. I think there are still definitely favourites, you know, in the same way as you would expect. You know, the final 16 of, say, the World Cup to be good. But you'd still fancy France more than uh, other teams, wouldn't you? Oh, I don't know, punter, there was like five... Five games. There were some good games as well. There were some good games. Yatsik versus Kfog. Um Diamond versus Caster. 
There was a few games. That the live that was the, there was I think there were two lives ones. I can't remember now. It's too too long ago, but good. Check them all out. YouTube, uh, <laughs> Twitch vods, fantastic. <laughs> USA. Some will be on YouTube. Yeah, not all of them yet. Um, but some will be on the YouTubes. And you can find out... Actually, no. <laughs> it's not fully up to date, but I generally update it every night. On a... On my spreadsheet. I actually haven't updated which ones are on YouTube on the spreadsheet yet, but I... I do try to keep the spreadsheet updated. Thanks, Sam Slyker. There you go. There's the links. You can see on the World Cup casts one. It has got links to the VODs. But it hasn't got links to all of them. Yeah. But I mean, I'll, I'll keep that. I generally do it on a night. So that was that will have been updated last night. Okay, something's happening in the game. Like honestly, I mean, this is why a lot of the casts in Montpellier were like you know banter about Davo's uh, tea and <laughs> tea and horse leg habits, right? Because a lot of the time is just somebody thinking. So, you need to fill that with chat interaction or um, banter, cast a banter, don't they? And there's no cast a banter here on my own. So, I have to fill it with chat interaction. And I don't think we'll have to fill it with chat interaction in, uh, in Montpellier. Though we will have our little tablets with a chat on and then we, so we could, we could do things. I think five minutes delay is, is you know, even two minute delay, I think would be enough, right? Just a, even just a two minute delay would let us talk about, you know, how is he going to do this one turn and stuff. Whereas I don't really want to talk about that stuff when I'm, uh, you know, for fear of anybody feeling dissatisfied. Banter. Air dropped him in for the bants. Yeah, I mean, it's just to fill the back. Like, you can still talk about the game. Like, it's it's also easy to talk about the game. There's two of you. It's just harder when there's one, isn't it? Because, like, you're just sitting there and you're like, well, we're watching we're watching Ivan Colin think right now. <laughs> you know. <laughs> there's a... Uh... Oh, I'm sick of that guy. So, like... Uh, you know, like... We're watching... We're watching Ivan Colin think. That is literally what we're doing. We're just watching him think. <laughs> <laughs> not doing anything else <laughs> so you can talk about the game or you can banter and stuff or you can um, interesting 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 or you can or you can interact with chat can't you so then that sometimes I miss things that happen in the game because of chat it's it's not an easy balance is it I need to go along. <laughs> God, I'm going to say that by mistake now. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, it's better than yep, 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 isn't it, Joe Family? My wrestling, I've got yep. My blood ball, I've got interesting. Yes, Dementor, yeah, yeah. Replays are definitely better for like analysis y talk. Pause the turn. Oh, this looks tricky. What would I do here? I'd probably do this, 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 and this. Yeah. <laughs> feels more. Feels more dead air. Oh well, that turn was absolutely super califragilistic expialidocious.
Okay, now we cut to bright thinking. <laughs> I don't think he can, uh, he can get the zombie into the cage, right? Probably, but it doesn't really do a lot, even if he does. And even then, he probably can't even get that in, to be fair. So. You can get the fleshy in. And he's just stood up. But yeah, he could have done, couldn't he? Yeah, he could have punched here, chained him, filled this, chained him to there, then blocked him and chained him to there. That would have been a really nice play, yeah. Oh, really nice. The problem being is he's strength five. Oh, but you've got a player here, so yeah, he could have easily... Uh, well, no, because he's guard, right? So he would have been start to be down. So you're strength four against strength five, so you have to use both of these to get the assists in. But could have done it. Could have pushed him to there. And then he'd have been strength five and he'd be three, four, five, six. Yeah, it was, it was actually very on, yeah. Actually, it was very on, yeah. That's probably what he should have done. And, you know, this is the thing, right? If I'd said that and Bright had taken, you know, three minutes to play his turn, then did it after three minutes, Ivan Cole might be like, oh don't like that, Jimmy said that, and then he did it, and, you know, like, that's a thing, like, I just don't want that to be a possibility, even though I don't think anybody will be watching the stream for ideas, I just don't want anybody to, like, kind of, you know, have the chance of thinking that that was what it was. Yes, exactly, J5. That would be great, wouldn't it? But now he gets the freshy back, which is nice as well, isn't it? You know? Can I say fleshy? Wraith back. Dodge out. Very hard to get any penetration here, and obviously Ivan Colin's going for the win, and he's he should be trying a quick score, and he just can't get anywhere. I don't know, Demento, I don't know. I would. I hope it will be delayed because I don't think we will need up to the minute chat interaction. I think we could have a two or three minute delay and, you know, still still interact with chat, right? Just on a bit of a delay. Of course, Barney. I mean, I, I agree. I agree completely. But there was somebody who said, oh... Maybe they were watching the stream, and sometimes, like generally, it's streamers themselves say it, right? When they say something and then their opponent does it, and they're like, they're watching the stream! And I don't think that's true either, but... I just don't want the chance for anybody to, you know, feel bad. That's the thing. Like, I know that I'm not cheating, and I don't think that anybody... Like, I just think it'd be a really bad way to try and cheat, right? Like, if, you, if this is how you cheat watching the stream, <laughs> it's a, just a really bad way to cheat. Oh, yeah, I think he did it all the time, didn't he? Uh, Lupak. Lupak was hilarious. Lupak would always, like, would always point out the worst possible move. And be like, oh, I really hope my opponent doesn't put his player here. That's going to cause me loads of problems. And then his opponent would put his player there and he'd surf them instantly. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was immensely, it was immensely consistent. It was hilarious. Oh dear. But you know, so while that could happen, while that could happen on a 
versus ladder players, I don't think anyone's going to be doing that in the World Cup, right? That's the thing. I just don't. I just don't believe they would because that if you're going to go to that much trouble to like maybe get an advantage, normally maybe, um, then there's better ways you could do it. Like yes, having having other good players in your earpiece, right? Most of the people qualified through private leagues. So they could say to their league mates, hey buddy, do you want to jump on a Discord call with me and tell me to make safe moves first every turn? <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly, Demento. Exactly. So I don't think anybody would be trying to cheat that way. Yes, they do. Yeah, exactly. They do, Demento. I mean, not a, not a big one. They just get like a uh, logo or a title or something, but... They get some. They get some small little token of things. Yeah. So, so not only do I think nobody would cheat that way, if they were going to cheat, there's much better ways. So I also think it's uh, it's silly, but it kind of protects myself, doesn't it? It protects myself from any controversy. Is the biggest thing I think. So that's what I'm going to do. This is pretty horrible, isn't it? I mean, he's got no players. He's just got no players. So, what can he do? What can he do? How, how on earth do you carve open foul, foul appearance, sidesteppers, and stand firmers when you've got no players and you can't do anything? You don't. You just lose 2 0 and go, why did I choose all considering Necro? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty much GG. Oui, oui, GG. Funny, because even though, even though Hawks won that first season of Super League in Blood Bowl 3, uh, they do feel pretty bad against Necro, I think. Christopher B, thanks for the raid. Yeah, Necro are a pretty strong team, aren't they? But the knockout stage, you could win through the knockout stage without ever playing all the time as well. So that's interesting, isn't it? The person who wins this tournament might only play 13 games. I think that's right. Round of 32, round of 16, round of 8, round of 4, round of 2, yeah, that's 5 rounds. So 10, 13, 13 games, 13 to 18 games you've got to play. And obviously you don't have to win all of them. You've just got to win about half of them, you know. The ten in the the ten in the knockout stage, you could win five, draw five, and you'll you'll you can win the tournament, might not. Yeah, elves, rats, necro. Two and a half k euros, eight k total. <laughs> So, I mean, let's not give anybody match fixing ideas, J5. <laughs> it would certainly be tempting to offer a chop, right, before the final or whatever, or playoff games. You could offer a chop to people if you were unconfident. Though, uh, I imagine that might that might go against the rules of the competition. Skaven are pretty strong. Skaven are pretty strong. But then I think that's why Olivier Dulac has gone for the double sidestep catches, right? To, to, to have more against the one turn. Pretty good, honestly, having one stand firm and two sidesteps. So he's pretty defended versus obviously Necro defended against the one turn. Um...
And would elves have a one turn? I, I don't know. I, I think maybe I've done wrong selecting dark elves, but who cares at the end of the day? Like, it's not. It's not the end of the world, is it? Is he hasn't blitzed yet? Has he? He's going to dodge around and blitz the ball. Oh no, he's got a wolf. Oh god. Oh god. Take the both down. <laughs> the big one's got it, but he's going to get smashed by a ghoul. There we go. See where it goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they, that's what I was. What I was thinking was, I was thinking the best races are elves, and I, maybe I was stupid thinking elves rather than wood elves, but I just thought elves, Skaven and Necro, and out of my favourites to win the tournament, I'm thinking Bright, Diomed, and Davo are all taking Necro, K Fog and Strider are both taking Woodies and Olivier is taking Skaven so I was nearly right <laughs> but it was just Woodies and Necro but I mean how do you what beats Necro and Woodies like it's not easy is it <laughs> no Dimmy <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, I think I've probably just taken Woody's and then it's a mirror. Or I feel like Woody's are bad against Necro because they don't get the one turn chance at all. And they've got sidestep and stand firm to cause you problems. But you know, Devo thinks it's a horrendous matchup for Necro. Interesting. Okay, he makes the dodge, makes the pick up. He's got a potato because it, it draw, a win is the only thing that does him any good. A draw is completely pointless. <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't in the, it wasn't in that context, uh, J Five. It was him doing a uh, a Euro Bowl video, and it was you know like objectively looking at the matches, and he he kept saying Wood Elves were bad for Necro, which I I think the opposite, which put me off using Wood Elves, and I thought well. I played Seabros a few times with Necro and they were hard to beat and Seabros won the uh, won the Super League beating every Necro player with Dark Elves and I thought Dark Elves are supposedly okay versus Wood Elves they crushed Skaven so I thought let's go Dark Elves but maybe I shouldn't have not really crushed Skaven but they're decent versus Skaven Miss speak. We well, also had an you had the assassin, right? The assassin is what makes them good against wood elves, really, isn't it? Stabbing, stabbing dancers is pretty good, and stabbing ghouls is pretty good. So maybe the big part of it was having the assassin. That I don't have. Yes, maybe the Christopher B build is the best one. 
I think I like that more than the uh, Sea Bros build. No, oh, double one! But I can't score this turn, so. You know, ultimately. That's what it is. Yeah, bad decision to roll double one there. If Bright wants to make the next step as a coach, he needs to just never ever roll double ones. And I tried that in my third game. I didn't do it for my first and second games, but for my third games, I just chose not to roll double one, and it uh, worked great. So yeah, I definitely recommend just simply choosing not to roll double ones. So it looks like it's going to be a draw. Which I guess Iron Cole will be happy with, right? Like, even though it means he's qualifies in second instead of first. He's drawn versus Bright in a game where he got pretty much diced. So, that's kind of a good thing. Probably wanted to be three in, right? Just to stop the 4 3 serve. I guess he can rush. He's got no rerolls though. Yeah. At least one. But now two means he can't even get hit by the wolf. No, he can't. He can get hit by the wolf still. Four, three. But only hit once. Yeah, and dodge, dodge to keep the little thing. I like it. Oh, this guy can touch you as well. I can two dice you. You can actually two dice you. Well, there you go, Spurgy. That's the thing, right? I think I had two games where the dice were not on my side. Drew them both. One game when it was on my side and I won it. So, I was very happy with that. TB Hitch. So now he's got to rush to cancel this assist. And then 4-3, 2-2 to one dice the ball. Is there anything cleverer? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh wait, this guy can come in. That's a double rush. The girl can't reach the girl, so the girl. The ghoul one one rush is better than the zombo double rush, right? I just can't reach. And here we go, four three. Four three two two for a one D. Well done, Dimmy. Top fifty in Hastings. What a legend. Some might say 21st in England. But someone else might say those rankings don't mean anything. <laughs> Twenty-first 
209th in the world. Bloody French. Oh, he's made the double dodge. Reroll for the rush and snakes the rush. Classic. Classic Blood Bowl. Absolutely classic Blood Bowl. <laughs> 4 3, no problem. 2, no, not possible. Could try the one turn here, Bright, couldn't he? Somebody made a good one turn, didn't they, the other day? Who was that? Who was that who made the good one turn? I've got no idea. <laughs> I have literally no idea. Oh, God. There is somebody else with Necro who isn't... Mongloom, I, Mon Gloom, I think it was, made the one turn. Yeah, I think it was Mongloom. I think he got a quick snap. But I still think it was a nice one turn. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was Mon Gloom. Yeah, he got a quick snap, but it was still nice. Like, it was with Necro, and uh, used the uh, wolf block to push him forward so he could wolf blitz through the back line. So, yeah, it was still nice. One game, Jim. I won one game that season. He's only got one wolf, which makes the one turn a hell of a lot harder. Is he going to double rush the fleshy to blitz? No, he can't. Oh, he's filled it in. Oh, yes, he's got the quick snap. So oh, my God, I'm an idiot. He was going to blitz with this guy, and he's just got that. He's got no rerolls as well, so... Fill this and pass it. That seems rubbish, but... Like, might as well, right? Otherwise, you're moving him back, which I don't know... But it works. Maybe it does. Powers anyway. So it'd have been there. Then this guy could have come up and handed off to him. And then this one could have dodged to get the third. And then he could have blocked him and pushed him. up to there and then you'd need like one two three fills which it doesn't have so oh you'd have filled that one so then you'd have blocked him and got him one forward oh yeah that's much better isn't it okay thanks for showing me how to do it right <laughs> and that would have blocked him and then blocked him forward no then he's here then he can't get pushed again no, that wouldn't work. But he could have blocked him forward there and then blocked him 
to there and then he does the last block. That's the best way of doing it, isn't it? He blocks him to there. Yeah, block him out. And then block him forward to there and then he does the last block. That would have been it. So it was on. Six hundred sixty nine. Well, there you go, one one. Honours even, and congratulations to both of them because that doesn't change the table. That keeps Bright ahead of Ivan Colin. So Bright is through as a group winner. Ivan Colin through as runner-up. Um, there you go. Congrats to both of them. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.